Uh, hello. It's already spoiler season for 20 M20. I feel like the spoilers, it like literally, uh, Modern Horizons just came out. Um, and we're already experiencing spoilers for M20. We got the, the Shond the three Chandras here, uh, a few days ago. Um, they, they were just like, yeah, there's going to be three Chandras in M20, which is cool. Don't get me wrong. I'm actually a pretty big fan of, uh, Chandra is a character all about them, uh, Pyromancer girls. She's looking very wonderful in all these, all these, uh, these Planeswalkers. You could see a bit of a younger, it's kind of cool seeing, like, the flavor here is really cool seeing her, um, progress as a Pyromancer to Awakened Inferno, you know, that, that's pretty sick. And the abilities are, I mean, control players are screaming when they see this. However, it is six mana, which we'll see what that can do with burn but i do like the abilities i'm actually a bigger fan of the rare chandra and uh as we go through the video i'm sure or go through the spoilers i'm sure you'll probably come around to this one elemental tribal uh chandra is pretty interesting uh for like oathbreaker i guess if that format lasts i think this chandra will be a bit of a favorite you probably want to throw every chandra nearly into i think there are other chandras that do this elemental thing but anyway Let's get to the spoilers. Uh, let's look at this at Johnny here really quick. Uh, this, since this is the newest one, you guys have already seen these, so I'm, pr I'm not really going to worry about it too much. But this at Johnny is actually pretty interesting. Uh, you gain life equal to the number of planeswalkers, or excuse me, creatures, plus the number of planeswalkers you control for a plus one. That's that's not bad. Actually, uh, a lot of the things that got spoiled today are... Uh, there's a lot of like a life gain support in this in this core set, which I'm kind of a big fan of. I I have a an Alluril Commando deck that really in, would uh, like. Okay, let's let let me just read the the when we get to the minus effect. Uh, it's his minus two is. Uh, I can't even read this. Oh my gosh, the font is so small. Okay, let's just go to this. This is really nice. Um, uh, create a uh, two two white soldier creature token named a Johnny's Pride Mate. What? You get to make with Johnny's Pride Mates? That's pretty cool. I like this. This is a pretty strong for four mana, too. Like, it's pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, but his minus is interesting. Very interesting. Uh, if you control at least... If, excuse me. If you have at least 15 uh, more, fifteen life more than your starting life total, exile the Johnny's Strength of the Pride in each artifact and creature your opponents control. Uh, that's, that's pretty good. I, I think you just drop them, board wipe. Boom. And it's just your opponents. Uh, okay. Okay. That's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> it, it is an exile effect, unfortunately, so you can't, like, bring this back from the graveyard, which, I mean, maybe not unfortunately, maybe that's a good thing, but holy cow, that, that's pretty sick. Uh, I'm just gonna boom, boom. Let's do that. Oh, whoa! What did that do? Okay, there we go. Let's just read this one first, then I guess if the okay, the text is want to pop up. That's fine. Whenever you activate a loyalty ability of a Chandra Planeswalker, you may pay one. If you do copy that ability, you may choose new targets for the copy. Uh, that's pretty okay. Uh, there. Uh, let's read these Chandras really quick. Oh, dude, that, the first one on this one, getting the emblem that stacks is pretty good, or, I mean, I don't know, there, there's definitely ways that can be gross, uh, or, or minus three, adding more than one mana, you get, what, four mana off that, I think, plus two, maybe three, whatever, that's still good, that's still okay, um, and I'm sure there are other ridiculous Chandra abilities, like the, the one from Kaladesh, that it's the same thing. Or the one that lets you draw a card, two cards, deal four damage if you don't like either. It's pretty good. Uh, one, tap, discard a mountain, or a red card, draw a card. For two mana. Really, this is great. Uh, really quick, I, I want to take a minute to point out uh, how these legendary artifacts are having, like, the colored border on them instead of just being gray. I'm a really big fan of that. They did it with, um... Oh, that one lady's bow. Vivian's arc bow has the same, but it's green, and it looks really sick. I'm a big fan of whoever's idea that was. Ugh, excuse me. Uh, Cavalier of Flame. Creatures you control get plus one, plus oh, and gain haste until end of turn. For I mean, it's five mana, and that's a two mana ability, but it's not a tap ability, so that's okay. When it's about to discard any number of cards, then draw that many. That's not bad. Um... 
When Cavalier Flame dies, he deals X damage to each opponent and each Planeswalker they control where X is the number of lands in your graveyard. Red seems to be getting like a disc land discard thing, and I'm I'm kind of okay with that, especially with the new um the rare from Modern Horizons that you cycle lands and you get a red mana for it or something like that. Uh, with the uh, maybe 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 like a red mid range kind of deck might want something like that, or like a Bernie. Uh, I don't know. Well, I could see this being pretty okay though. It is a mythic. It's maybe not the mythic you want. You definitely want one of these two. Uh, but it's okay. The art's pretty uh, pretty sick too. Chandra's Ember Cats tap add red mana to cast an elemental spell or a Chandra Planeswalker spell. Okay, okay, maybe. It's a cute little fire cat, and you can't go wrong with that. Fire Flame Sweep. Actually, this card's really sick though. It's a promo card too, which I'm a big fan of. Uh, I'm not, I don't mind this like little set thing down here they do with the promos. I prefer the old full art ones though. Uh, Flame Sweep deals two damage to each creature, except for creatures you control with flying. Dragons. There you go. Uh, Dread Presence. Whenever a swamp enters the battlefield near your control, uh, choose one, draw a card, you lose one life. Uh, Dread Presence deals two damage to any target and you gain two life. Mm, probably not going to see any play. Thrashing Brontodon. Just a great reprint. I'm glad to see this is still going to be in standard. It's an insane... A uh, three mana card with a great effect. You know what it does. It's wonderful. This is a German card, so maybe it's been translated. Oh, it has. Great. Uh, Waker, Waker Root Elemental. It's uh, six drop for and two green. It's creature elemental. What in the world? What? <laughs> uh, what is that? Elemental Wars? Sure. Uh, for one, two, three... 5 green mana, untap a target land you control, it becomes a 5-5 five, five elemental creature token with haste. It's still a land. Uh, I don't know about that. Maybe. The art's pretty cool. It makes me... I wish there was a little more, like, more dark lines on it, but otherwise I think it's pretty okay. Um, uh, okay, what's this? Yarkov's... that thing? Fenlurker? Fenlurker, yeah. It's a creature horror for two black mana. It's an uncommon. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, each opponent exiles a card from their hand. Hmm. Uh, for three, it gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. Uh, just like a better Dread Sage, maybe? Maybe? I mean, I like the exile effect, Like, but it is, it, they, they do get to choose a nine times until the ten. They're just going to choose to discard a land. But that's not necessarily a bad thing either. This figure, reprint, uh, gets a wonderful, like, the, the promo border thing. I like that weird smoky effect up there. Uh, that's pretty sick. Minus target creatures, minus two, minus two until turn it's an instant. You know what it does. It's great. Wonderful, insane looking Seb McKinnon. What the heck is going on here? Look at my boy. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Oh my good golly. Uh, choose target player. Each of those... Excuse me, each of them searches their library for a card, then shuffles their library and puts that card on top of it. I love this, actually. You can partner up with someone in Commander and be like, Hey, you get a thing, I'm getting a thing. Please choose something that'll help me. If you're if you're not if you don't mind politicking like I do in Commander, I feel like that's one of the better parts of Commander. Uh this card's great. I want to put this in my Zancha deck because that deck is almost nothing, but please don't attack me. Let me help you, and then also later I'm gonna really hurt everyone with like uh oh what's it is it what is it a uh, wound reflection and such yes mana barbs angel of vitality uh three mana two two angel flying if you would gain life gain that much life plus one instead that's okay angel of vitality gets plus two plus two as long as your life is 25 or more so it's a four four for three mana and helps you gain a little bit more life though like i said there's a bit of a life gain effect going on in this core set now i'm a pretty big fan of oh, 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 don't be reading anything down there we're not there yet don't no 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 oh, you're over there don't no don't be doing any of that devout decree uh i really like this actually i wonder if this is going to see play there are plenty oh, let, me, let me just read the card just two mana sorcery uh exile target creature or planeswalker that's black or red scry one there are <clears throat> there are plenty of black and red planeswalkers right now. Nicol Bolas really annoying. I wish I really wish it said blue uh, instead of red. I feel like there aren't as many red planeswalkers that are really annoying right now. But if it was black and blue, dude, oh my god, <laughs> that 
this would this would be nuts this would be really really nuts it's still it's not bad it's still pretty good uh Ardmetus all seeking for three and three blue it's a legendary creature so hey commander players uh, it has flying, has all sphinx. Oh, it's a sphinx, by the way. I love the art. Look at these eyes. It makes me think of like a Zelda boss or something. Uh, it's a legendary creature sphinx with flying. It has three or two and a blue. Excuse me. Tap. Draw two cards and discard a card. It's good. Really good. Um, whenever Archimedes All Seeking deals combat damage to an opponent, you may reveal your hand. If cards with at least six different converted mana costs are revealed this way, that player loses the game. I think I already talked about it in a previous video where I was playing with someone and they had um, alt win cons. That was like all their commanders. And it was really cool. So I, again, I bet this dude is just flipping a lid right now. It's a really okay card. I think it's actually not that bad. It is an attack trigger, unfortunately. But it is a flyer, so it does have the evasion. I don't know if this is going to see standard play. It could. Absolutely, it could. Uh, and it'd be a really funny way to just get some wins with this in commander or excuse me well commander too but standard as well mm. negate with probably the best negate art I ever made getting a great re reprint I had this in foil I traded it away it was completely worth the trade but man do I miss that foil because it is just insane all these all these contrasting colors and foil is nuts unsummon another reprint let me get down here to I'll show off this cryptic case in here. Uh, the Rihanna Angel of Rebirth. Uh, it has a similar Nicol Bolas, and it's going to slot right into that deck. Uh, Nicol Bolas like effect. Other multicolored. Oh, it's uh, five mana. Naya in two. Legendary creature. Angel. Mythic. Uh, definitely not a mythic you want, I don't think. But uh, it has flying, as all angels do, or at least most. Uh, other multicolored creatures you control get plus one, plus zero. It's a five four, by the way. Whenever another multicolored creature you control dies, return it to its owner's hand at the beginning of the next end step. Like I said, it's not bad, but... <clears throat> and it's going to go great into that Nicol Bolas deck. Whenever anything you control dies, it just bounces right back to your hand. No big deal. Uh, but I do wish it was Jund instead of Naya, because then you could start uh, sacking your own stuff and bringing it back, recurring it. It would be disgusting. Like, it would be a really, really solid mythic then. I would absolutely love to make this a commander, because then you just... It would do the things you want, I guess, is what I'm saying. Like, white is not necessarily... It definitely has recursion, but if this was Jund, it would be... It would be perfect, in my opinion. Like, this would be exactly something you would want. I don't know why it's Naya, not Jund. I do love the art, though. The wings look... Especially, the, like, these wings are nuts, dude. Imagine these wrapping you up... Giving you a hug and flying you away from all your problems. <sighs> oh boy, all these spoilers. Corpse Knight is insane. I love this. Uh, the art is pretty solid. Uh, I love it very much. It's got like this watercolor background type deal going on. The, the, the knight is looking really sick with this kind of whatever. It's it's too. It's, it's a promo too, by the way. I'm sure there's a normal version of it in in the set too, uh, but it's. Uh, it's a white and black corpse knight creature zombie knight by the way uncommon Ooh, excuse me coffee burp whenever another creature enters the battlefield under control each opponent loses one life you yeah you'll want this in your oh my gosh aristocrats decks sometimes like getting double triggers off of that one white drop that when it dies it comes back with a white uh life link dude Boom, that's disgusting. Two triggers off that dude. This is going to slot into those decks. Duh. Like, absolutely duh. And then whenever your creatures die, you could get another life and some of them come back. Like, what, Haunted Witness. That's what his name is. Haunted Witness or whatever. Boom. Any afterlife triggers. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. You want this. This is gross. And I'm so glad that it's an uncommon. It, it is definitely, like, in the uncommon territory. It is a, it's a bear, too. Two mana, two, two. This is the real deal, folks. This is definitely the real deal. And it's really cool that it's a promo. I love... I'm a big fan of these promos. Again, I wish it was more like the full art ones. Like, I have a Killing Wave that's more of a full art kind of promo. Uh, but it's still cool. Creeping Trailblazer is one of the elementals. For 2 mana, 2-2, two, two, it's a bear. Other other, blah, 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 blah. other elementals you control get plus 1, plus 0. Oh. Uh, for 2 and red, green. Other uh, Creeping Trailblazer gets plus 1, plus 1 until end of turn. For each elemental you control. 
I believe Nissa, other Nissas make uh, elementals, and you can just do Nissa, Chandra, Tribal, and maybe that's what they're hinting at, because I'm pretty sure there's a comic out right now where Nissa and Chandra uh, hit up in the, the trees doing some K-I-S-S-I-N-G, ing. And hey, that's cool. Gotta love your elf girl. El uh, the, gotta love your elf girls and your pyromancers hitching it up. I have zero problems with that. Some people are like, ah, uh, they're they're pushing uh, some sort of gay agenda, and I'm like, even if they are, Chandra and Nissa, like, who wasn't shipping them already? Let's be real here. I, I I'm down, completely down with that. Uh, Ethereum, uh, M. Empyrean Angel Eagle, excuse me, speaking of the Eagles I love the Eagles band uh, For one, white and blue You get a creature, bird, spirit With flying, two, three Other creatures you control with flying Get plus one, plus one It's not bad I don't know where this is going to go right now in standard Maybe an angel, maybe the sphinx uh, I don't know It's okay though, Can't can't go wrong with flying lords It's not bad uh, Iron Root Warlord, white, excuse me, one, green and white. Iron Root Warlord, power and toughness uh, is equal to the number of creatures you control. Token sticks, here you go. And it makes tokens for three, green and white. Creature, create a one, one creature, soldier, token, white, soldier, creature, token, excuse me. It's a little expensive in my opinion, but it is a star five. So at the very least, it's going to be a one, five for three mana. That's nuts. That's nuts. I mean, it's not nuts, but it's definitely not bad. Uh, I could see this going, this this slots perfectly into the tokens decks that really need more pieces right now, because do you really see token decks? You do every once in a while, but really you're, they're just not really a thing right now, which is really a shame. I'm a big fan of token decks. Uh, I wish they were a little bit stronger, and this this might help them. It gives them another, like, a Sisse, that Sisse from Dominaria uh, kind of effect. It's just like that with a, an ability, basically. And I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, and the last card, at least for now, let me refresh. Maybe there's more. Okay, nope. Uh, Cryptic Caves. Uh, taps for colorless man. It's a land, by the way. It's an uncommon land. Oh, with pretty bleh art. It's just mountains. Here you go. Uh, for one, sack it. Uh, sack Cryptic Caves. Draw a card. Activate this ability only if you control five or more lands. Listen, I can see this going in like a lands dance kind of deck, potentially. Maybe you want to throw it in Modrotha, because uh, like Gaming Commander, you're definitely going to have uh, more than five lands in that deck, and you can bring one back from your graveyard every turn. Well, this will just let you start drawing cards. That's... That's okay. That's okay. It's... It could have been infinitely worse, I guess. It could have just been nothing. But it's not bad. What up, butt munch? Me too. Uh, but that is all for today. It looks like maybe there will be more, but this is all I'm going to drop for now. Uh, I'm sure we'll start seeing more throughout the week. That's it, everyone. Goodbye.